Good morning. Greetings from Father Anait Bandan and I'm Harry. We are glad that you are able to join us. Today's reflection is prepared by Father Anait Bandan and presented by Naim Harry. Today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Hyacinth, who lived from 1185 to 1257. Born of noble parents in Poland, was educated in Krakow. On a trip to Rome in 1218, he met St. Dominic, from whom both Hyacinth and his cousin received the habit of the friar preachers. Within a few months of his reception of the habit, Hyacinth embarked on his first mission, sent by St. Dominic to preach and establish the order in Poland. After unceasing labor and journeys, Hyacinth spent his last few months of his life in a monastery he had founded in Krakow. Although worn out and weakened by illness and fever, he kept watch in the service of God until his death by celebrating Mass on the Feast of the Assumption in 1257. He was canonized over 300 years later. The first reading, Judges chapter 6, verses 11 to 24. In this strength of yours and you will rescue Israel from the power of Midian. Gospel reading Matthew chapter 19 verses 23 to 30. In truth I tell you it is hard for someone rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Today's reflection great services of our religious teachers. It is told that for around 35 years this great disciple of Dominic devoted himself to preaching the gospel encouraging the followers to nurture the practice of study and opening new Dominican monasteries He was tireless in his efforts soon establishing Dominican friaries in all the major cities in Poland These houses became known as centers of theological thought and missionary activity He extended his missionary activity to Russia, Lithuania, present-day Czech Republic, Slovakia, Australia, Bohemia, Greece, Turkey, and northern China. After crossing the Baltic Sea, he preached in Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, and is also said to have visited Scotland. How faithfully we remember our teachers who shared their lives and God-given talents. for our religious and catechetical formation. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and your families. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow and have a wonderful day. And remember, God loves you.